So Dave, tell me a little bit about uh, the history of uh, Faith FM. Well, Faith FM started, uh, I think it's about nine or ten years ago on the air as Grace FM on 105.9. Uh, we had a very small signal, it was approximately 10 watts at that point, which sort of covered London. Didn't do the best job in some areas, but it was there. And uh, so it was, uh, it was a process of getting, getting that on the air. And then of course it became Inspire FM. Yes, um, several years later with a uh, format change it became Inspire FM. That would be uh, two to three years ago now. And uh, but the back in, uh, I just forget the date now, in the later 90s we applied to the CRTC for power increase. And uh, technically we had to change frequency as well. So uh, uh, in that whole process, uh, that's what brings us to this rack right here with, uh, with the new transmitter, uh, a bunch of other new gear, and a lot more power on 99.9. .9. And how much power do you have now? Well, we're, uh, well, we like to use the bigger number, uh, uh, 500 watts uh, peak uh, effective radiated power. You have a great location for your antenna. Well, one London place here in London, of course, uh, this is the tallest building in downtown London, and uh, it's a great spot for a transmission uh, to, uh, to originate from. It's, uh, it gives us the ability to cover the whole of London, especially with the new transmitter, the higher power. Where we cover London with a very good signal now, and of course we go further out to the uh, north, east, and south. We don't go that far to the west because technically we have another uh, radio station in Sarnia that we have to protect there that's on the same frequency. But it's been a great ad uh, advantage to uh, to be able to go to 99.9 .9 with the 500 watts uh, output power, and uh, we can now get into areas of St. Thomas. Uh, sometimes as far east as Ingersoll, uh, covering a lot of the rural communities uh, to the east and north of London as well. And what has been the response uh, to Faith FM in London? We've had a lot of good response. People saying that now they can hear it more than just in their cars. Uh, on the old setup, of course, it was fairly easy to pick it up in your, your vehicles, but as soon as you walk in the house, you couldn't get it on the stereo at home. So now we have people uh, all over the region saying we can get it in the house, in our apartment, in the basement. Uh, so it's, it's definitely increased the ability of the listeners to tune us in and uh, of course result in more listener hours as well. So the transmitter is doing its job? The transmitter is working great. Uh, Crown of course is uh, you know, one of the best known brands, uh, very good quality. Um, and. You know, with a family history of uh, in the church and, and uh, Christian history there, and, and uh, so we're we're really pleased to have it. We're really thankful to HCJB for helping us get that and uh, get on the air. I mean, without a transmitter, you're not going to go very far. <laughs> well, it was our pleasure to help you. Thank you.